comes. Brace for shock. You're too high. I'm at 52 right there. Got me. Barely under 53. You got me. Are you dead? Hey everybody. It's time for some search and rescue operations. As you know, uh, we've got a search and rescue on our Discord here at Phoenix Operations. So a request comes in, somebody responds, and uh, you go and see if you can do the rescue. So here, uh, Phoenix is actually down at a bunker. He caught some shrapnel from messing with a Gatling gun or something. So I come in and, uh, you know, it, it's basic stuff, not advanced training. I, I even forgot a med uh, gun, so I just uh, stabbed him with uh, a medical pen. No problem. That's the typical thing we're doing here at Medical Rescues, just helping out our org mates. But let's be honest, bunkers are very predictable, and uh, a better test of a search and rescue team would be a hot extract. So that's when you're assuming you're taking fire from the enemy. Uh, no, 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 here no. we've tried a whole bunch of different no, techniques, some man. of which we keep secret about how we do Come extracts. On. In R&D, some of them work better than others. But how does this work in the real world? When you do a hot extract, there are crazier ways of getting people out of a dangerous situation. And uh, we wanted to try doing one in the simulation that it is uh, Star Citizen, and that is the Skyhook. That's where you have an operative, they need to get out of a bad situation, maybe a situation where you can't uh, have a runway, uh, or you can't uh, easily get a uh, safe place to land. So here you actually lift a balloon, and uh, you know the CIA comes and gets you, uh, and can we do something like that in Star Citizen? Well, if you incapacitate someone, and you lift them up, and you're Picture a really good ready. pilot, and you got a front Starting ramp right. that can scoop the person, well, let's try some skyhooks. Oh, I get you? Yep. Oh, you got my body, but he killed me. We figured out pretty quickly that you got to slow down to about 29 meters per second, or you're going to kill the person when they hit the back wall. You're too high again. What was your altitude? 52. 52. But by God, does it look so far off when I'm not? Does that make sense? And we have just picked up. First good pick up. Yeah, nice. Well done, gentlemen. 48.8. I love watching this thing come in with all the particle effects on the ice. So with the altitude dialed in, we just get to practice as many times as we have time on the server. Pick up. We have recovery, good scope. Recovery. You said 29? That's a 29 fluctuating between 47 and 48. So as part of my SAR certification, I had to get three good pickups. I got them in the night, but I also managed to, well, I managed to kill the test dummy several times. Got him vertical. I'm targeting what speed and what altitude? You're targeting 48 to 47 meters altitude. Uh, speed 29 or less meters per second. Yeah, and as I, as I told Zon to pay attention to where your crosshair is in reference to my party marker. And that'll be the relationship that you'll need doing this in the future when you don't have the altimeter. And note that it will change depending on your distance away. Right now it looks like you are coming in too low. No, no, you're good, you're good, never mind. Nope. Perfect picked up. Uh, you're an ace. I'm on board and I'm not dead. That's one. Oh. Yeah, windshield. <laughs> Slider. Uh, Are you alive? about that. Sometimes in Star Citizen you make your own fun. I, uh, I am inside the ship. Go! Partway through the training, a Drake Herald showed up and caused a distraction. Honestly, I thought it was good training. Player activated. Can't give me that 10 second countdown. Uh, 
I'm gonna be coming in. Ten seconds. Ten seconds. I'm looking forward to uh, getting a faster approach through practice. Uh, I think I killed him on this one, but uh, this was probably my cleanest run. You know, if he hadn't have died. Not seen. Error, I'm seeing. That looked good on my end. Had hit the ceiling. Uh, I smashed the back wall. The ceiling didn't kill me, the back wall did. So if you like doing crazy research and uh, training with uh, other people who enjoy the space sim genre here, come check out Phoenix Operations. We're a fun group, and uh, you can you can get some good playtime in. Thanks, everybody.